Look at all of these baits. In home tank for bait. One, two. Oh! oh. Let's see what you got. Oh, it just loaded up. Oh. What up, Slayers? So today's video is actually an awesome little shout out to my boy, Southern Finn Apparel, who is hooking it up for you guys. It's gonna be more like a thank you from us and him to you for helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. That's right. So in the link below, you can go ahead and add your email to the link below and you get a free buff, something super cool like this, guys. And the cool thing also is he has some awesome apparel. Look at that shark, a little black tip shark. He has this peacock bass right here. It looks gorgeous if I can go ahead and put this thing on. But uh, this looks amazing. You have this one also who has nice little largemouth bass resembling catch em all fishing shamu. So we have some awesome clothing, tons of buffs, guys. You have everything you would ever need to get on the water and slay just like we do out here in South Florida, guys. It's perfect, sunny, cold, whatever you want, you can put this thing on. So again, guys, shout out to Southern Fin Apparel and to you guys, a little gift from us to you for subscribing to this awesome channel. So let's get right onto the video and don't forget again, to go ahead and hit the link below and get your free buff, guys. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another episode, and finally, we are getting the opportunity to fill my bait tank. We didn't get to do that because, if you guys haven't seen that video, we ran into something crazy, something unseen. I did not like what I saw, guys. We ran into a dead dog in a canal, and we had to contact the local authorities to get that handled, and I couldn't film all that stuff with the local authorities, so it was just better for me to go ahead and just leave that spot and get to this spot over here where we did that awesome Lego fish trap. So I'm with Tiger Chew, he's over there on the phone with his friend doing what he's gotta do. But we're gonna go ahead and get right to it guys and load up this tank. All right Slayer, so I got Tiger Chew behind the camera again. Go ahead and say hi to yourself, buddy. <laughs> and we're gonna get right into this video because we couldn't it last time. And we're gonna look for some bait. So first, I'm gonna put these rods down. We might go ahead and catch a couple with a rod and reel. Maybe throw a net or two, who knows. But we're gonna get some water so we can get these bad boys all chummed up. So, I'm gotta get some water before falling in. Don't die. I'm trying not to. So here's some water. It's gonna be perfect for the uh, our baits here that are gonna go to the tank. Put this here, I'm gonna grab some bread. Hold on one second. Fastest second alive. And we're gonna do our bread explosion, yes. All right, so show them what you're doing. Right there, just grab some bread, get in some water, see how it's just getting soaked. Throw it into a ball and Send it. And this should all come alive in a few moments. So once we finish chumming everything up and they're chewing, look at them. There's a whole bunch of minnows and everything going on. There's some disturbance on the surface. But once we're done, we're gonna get right to fishing. So he's gonna go ahead and go first because I like to go ahead and let ladies go first. You know what I'm saying? Ladies go first all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as you can see, guys, we are loaded up. Fortunately, the lighting isn't the best because it's another cloudy day. But uh Send that bread down, bro. Catch us a little something, something for my bait tank, okay? Look at this. Popping. It's absolutely fire. Look at that. Fish on. What you got there? Bluegill. We got a bluegill. So we'll take that bluegill. We're going to have a little diversity in the tank. It's going to be absolutely awesome and insane because everything we do here on this channel is absolutely insane. So we got a bait in there. Oh, it's wild. It's crazy. We got to get aerators. I'll be right back. Oh, we got to get more bread on there. All right, here comes aeration. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, little man. Relax. And as here you can see, we have another species here. We have a Mayan cichlid that's on oh. the ground. Hurry. Save him. Save him. They must be primed for Shamu and whatever moves I get in my future. The man, the myth, the legend. He is the black belt of fishing, Tiger Chew. He is awesome right here, Ponde, bro. We're loading these things up. Soon it will be my turn. But guys, don't forget to check out the free buff you're going to be getting at the end of this video as a fat thank you from me to you for letting me get to 100,000 subscribers. Now, like I said, let's get to 200. Let's get to more. Let's get to a million. What do you think? I think so. Let's go. Look more excited. Ow, oh, my hand. It hurts so much. Oh, oh there's another one. <gasps> no! You failed this, Tagasan. Joey, catch one. Yeah, no problem. I got you. The tables have turned now. It's back to being my channel instead of Tiger's channel. You got 10 seconds. Got 10, 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7. Not even 7 seconds to the camera. So guys, as you can see, these are prime baits for peacock bass right here. And it's going to be perfect for Zach's peacock bass. And like I said, whatever else I get in the future for my pond. Boom. 
Save him. Oh. Save him. So the reason we're taking them now and putting them in my tank is that we can go ahead and quarantine them and prevent any of the fish that we feed from getting parasites from these wild fish. So guys, we're gonna continue, get right back at it, me and Tiger, and load this thing up and probably throw a net soon. So when it's time to throw a net, we'll be right back. So as you can see, guys, we have a lot of bait jumping around, even some big ones, even some really big ones. So the reason we went ahead and caught a couple with hook and line is that we did not want them to get too injured because a cast net usually injures most of the fish. So with that being said, it's time to load up, guys, 100%. So this guy is a master of the net. He is not only a black belt of fishing, but also black belt of cast netting. So I'm going to go ahead and give him my hand with chumming up this water. And we're going to go ahead and load up and head right home with our new bait fish. Now comes the tricky part. Here's our bread for our bread explosion. It's ready to go. But we got to make sure we don't lose this net, guys. You got this, bro? Got this, bro. All right. So I think this is going to be a good place. It's really dark. We can't even see ourselves. And I have polarized lens. So bread explosion. Feed, my children. Feed. Hold. As soon as they start going off. I have a couple of flashes going on. Oh, yeah. Honya. Honya. There's, there's a couple in there. Good to go? Oh yeah, you're good to go. Do it. Ready, you ready? All right, hopefully we don't lose this net in one, two. Oh! Whatever, let's see what you got. Pull it back, pull it back. What you got in there? Oh, it just loaded up. Oh, Heck yeah, God. you got everything you needed. As you can see, brim galore, Mayans, everything guys. We're gonna pack up, load up the cooler that we have in the car and head right home. Now, look how many we have here, guys. This is insane. Ooh. We got this. Send it. Send it! So many baits for the tank, for Shamu and all of our fish here on the YouTube world in South Florida. You got this. Come on. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is good. Good sashimi. A lot of gills, a lot of everything. Look at that, guys. This is absolutely insane. Good job. Good throw. You really loaded up. I mean, we got a lot with hook and line, but we got a ton with a net. Dude, it's gonna be so fun to go fishing with these things in the future too. Oh yeah. All right, all right. Uh, so we are here at the Slam Residence and there is all of our baits. These are gonna be the new inhabitants inside the 90 gallon. So without further ado, we're gonna move these guys into buckets and get them acclimating upstairs. So we finished wrapping everything up. We have actually decided to separate the Mayans from the bluegill so you guys can see them in their brand new in-home tank. For bait. Let's go ahead and add the bluegills first. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up as many as I can in here and just put them inside the tank, which I'm just many means two. So here's two right now. Let's go forth. There you go. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have some poop. So I'm not gonna use the net because I don't want this gunk in here now. So it's just bear with us while we get all of them inside. There you go. The water's about the same. We have a lot of fish to go ahead and add to this tank here. And these are all going to be fed. And shout out to Tiger Chu, my boy right behind me right here, for helping me out with all these. So, we have a lot. It's a lot of bait. Oh, we got Mayans in the mix, I guess. I thought, I thought we only had bluegills here. So here's a little Mayan. Here's a bluegill. So, alrighty. Here we go. Trying not to stress them too much. This is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Whoa. All right, guys, so we're scooping up the rest of our Mayans. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, man, this tank is overcrowded. But there is so much aeration going on here. Like, I'm not even worried. So we're going to have to make sure we quarantine these fish here, as you can see, and make sure they're 100% prior to feeding them to any of the big fish that our other YouTubers have down here in South Florida. So what I'm going to also do is if they pass, because i got to be honest, most likely some of them were to pass. I'm just going to freeze them so we have extra food for our fish. All right, we're going to continue adding all the fish. And I'll show you what the tank looks like once we're done. All right, we're wrangling up the last couple ones. As you can see, we're going to throw those in here. And I'm going to continue adding the rest. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Shout out to Tiger Chew, my dude, yes, sir. hooking it up. And don't forget to go ahead and get your free buff from Southern Fin Apparel. I'm going to put it in the link below. But I'll see you in the next adventure.